Cody here with GungHoDogTraining.com and in today's video we're going to give you some exercises that will help encourage your dog to play fetch. So we have a guest with us today, is Steven. Hello! And you might have seen Steven on the internet uh, in a couple places and you might as well see uh, Steven's dog Lino which is a golden doodle. We're going to work on some fetch with Lino today, right? Yep, he's excited. I'm yeah. excited too. So why don't you kind of give us an idea of where's Lino at right now? I guess Lino with Fetch, he loves to chase after the ball, grab the ball, and bring it back to you, but he won't drop it, and he'll expect you to kind of chase him at that point. So it's kind of not like a Fetch, it's more of a, hey, I want the ball, keep away from you now. So, yeah. it, you know, it's that, that dropping, because he loves the, the part of running and getting the ball and bringing it back, but then it's like, hey, come get the ball now. Yeah. Rather than, uh, you know. Yeah, and that's a pretty common uh, problem, I guess, that people okay. have. Um, and there's one main thing that kind of encourages the dog to kind of play keep away, and it's when they bring the dog back or when they bring the ball back to you or whatever item they're playing fetch with, if you go to get it and you move toward them, they instinctually will move backwards and then it becomes a game of keep away. Gotcha. And so we're gonna wanna make sure that when we work with him, whenever he brings the ball or the bumper back, we wanna move away from him and have him come to us rather than going to him. Hmm. So I'm gonna give you uh, three different exercises that you can go home and, and work on. Woohoo! homework <laughs> and uh, I'm also gonna have a foundation over all of this training that is gonna be basically whenever Lino does something that you are wanting him to do that you just praise him like crazy you know it's the best thing ever especially when he's really learning this okay. you just really want to get excited um, the the doodle in him uh, loves that and yeah. loves the praise loves the excitement and so that's gonna be really important Oh, look at you! Good boy! Crazy. Cool. That sounds easy. I mean, that's a natural thing that we do all the time. Exercise number one is going to be having a lead or a drag line as some people call it. It's a long leash that you okay. attach to your dog and this will help to bring them back to you when they don't want to. Gotcha. How long is a typical lead for something like this? Yeah, so it depends on what you're training the dog to do. We're going to start off really small with maybe tossing a uh, tennis ball like 10 feet. Um, so you could have a line that is anywhere from 10 feet up to 50 feet. It just really depends on what you're training and how far out you want the dog to come and then come back. Um, once that uh, training is established, then you would leave the, the line on them and they would go out farther than the line is. Uh, and then when they come back close to you, it'll be there so you can grab it and kind of guide them back to you with a lot of encouragement. Exercise two and exercise three are gonna kind of uh, go hand in hand, you can kind of switch them out. Uh, but the first one is, you said he really enjoys playing with the tennis ball. Yeah. And so what you would do is you would still have that, that lead on him, a leash, uh, and you throw the ball out, and when he comes back to you, um, you bring out the second tennis ball, and you get really excited about the second tennis ball. Okay. Naturally, he's gonna drop the first ball and want to get the second one. You throw the second one, and then he goes and gets it. Meanwhile, you're picking up the first one, he comes back, you get excited, and so it's just a, a trading off every time. Gotcha. And that's going to get him to release the ball out of his mouth. And when he releases it, you'll say your release cue. So a lot of people will say release or give or leave it. <laughs> drop um, it. Drop it. Okay. Um, so if that's what you use when he comes back, you know, you'd shake the other ball. As soon as he drops it, then you'd be like, drop it. And then you'd say fetch or whatever yeah. it is uh, that you say to have him go get the the item and bring it back to you. Exercise number three is definitely what I recommend for younger dogs, puppies, um, and that's using food as a reinforcement. Uh, Lino's a little bit older. You could use this to kind of get him excited because you used uh, food or treats when he was younger, right? Yeah, yeah. For all the general obedience stuff, we would use uh, typically just chicken. So that's where he got the sit and the down and the stay and all that. Basically how this will work when he brings the tennis ball back we're gonna trade him the ball for some food. Okay. And so he'll drop the tennis ball mm -hmm. and then we'll give him some food and praise him to reward him. We'll pick up the tennis ball, throw it. He'll bring the tennis ball back, give him some food again. You know, it's just 
positive reinforcement and of saying, hey, you brought the ball back to me, this is awesome. Further training, there are some people that will um, take fetch um, to a higher level, which is what I do with my Labradors, and I'll have them hold the ball, come all the way back next to me, sit down, and hold it for a couple seconds, and then I take it out of their mouth. That's not typical for the average person who just has a pet that wants to play fetch. Right. And so it sounds like your situation, if he gets it, you know, within a few feet of you, yeah, that's really what you're <laughs> yeah, looking yeah. for. Yeah, that's a success in our, in our book, so. <laughs> just remember, every time he does something that you're asking him to do, be really encouraging, positive, praise him a ton, pet him, and whenever he comes into, you know, your bubble, like he yeah. just is lit up with excitement and, you know, love from you. And that's going to make him want to come back to you and build that positive relationship. And that's really a foundation for all of our training here at Gung Ho Dogs. Now that you have you practiced uh, two of the exercises, we tried using some of the puppy food and Lino just wasn't really interested in it. So you might have to use some chicken or something uh, when you get home. But now that you've tried uh, the exercise of you know trading off uh, yeah. the tennis ball and also having the lead on there, how would you say uh, have those improved have you seen improvement today like is it helpful yeah for sure i mean in just the short amount of time you know there's a clear difference from where he was to where he's at now on before it you know like i said earlier it was a clear you know i don't know if you guys will see but it's a clear chase me rather than now it seems like i can get him to go get the ball bring it back and then get him excited for the next ball and actually drop one ball to go get the other so that's yeah. pretty cool yeah, yeah I, I noticed when we first started like he definitely is just like running around <sighs> any yeah. movement we made towards him like he would he would take off and then yeah. um if he did come he would come within like 10 feet and then drop the ball but uh this last time when we were working right over here he was coming up right next to you and still holding the ball for a while right so that was really cool to see yeah 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 he's a good boy that was fun huh i know so if you have a dog that is kind of working on fetch and completing the whole fetch routine so that you can actually keep going and get them exercise, try some of these exercises to get your dog to trade off the ball or having the lead on there so you can kind of guide them using treats or food, whatever motivates them uh, to kind of get them recognizing what you're trying to have them do. We have a free guide if you are just starting obedience training. Uh, we have a guide that kind of walks you through our steps of what we do when we start obedience training. And so there's a link down in the description. You can check that out. And in the meantime, hashtag gung ho dogs. We'll see you in the next one. Go get it, Lino. Go get it. <laughs> That's awesome. Come on. Good boy. Good, good boy, boy, Lino. That was awesome. Yeah. That was good boy.